have a parallel sports story you're involved in, which is the purchase of Manchester United. Would you be able to give a message to the Manchester United fans who are, I think it's fair to say, desperate to hear from you and desperately interested in your plans for the, well, one of the great clubs of the world? We're here today to celebrate the Super Bowl in Tampa in 2009, and it's a very important day, and I would hope you respect that. That's This community is here to celebrate that. These sure, people right, here work there, there very hard. There are thousands of Manchester United fans who are looking forward to hearing from Mr. Glazer, so I just wondered if you could at least send a message to the Manchester United fans of what is a period of real anxiety for them. Mr. Glazer? Next question. Do you have anything to say to Manchester United fans, Mr. Glazer? Is it time to sell the club, Mr. Glazer? Nothing to say at all. Are the fans just customers to you? Is the customer always right, Mr. Glazer? Nothing to say at all to the fans of Manchester United, Mr. Glazer. This is an opportunity for you. An apology, perhaps. Are the fans just customers to you, Mr. Glazer? It's all been very easy for the Glazers to ignore what they're doing to Manchester United whilst they sit over in Florida, in America, with their millions, ignoring it all. But when Sally Lockwood, credit to you, Sally, for doing this, confronts Avran Glazer and his silence is deafening, exactly like Malcolm Glazer's was 2000, in 2005, sorry, 16 years ago, like father, like son. The parasites that they are, silent because they cannot say a thing. Now, the protests against the Glazers before the Liverpool game that stopped the Liverpool game were incredible. If you haven't watched it, I've done a little sort of mini documentary, a little four or five minute video, something that I wanted to do. I wanted to contribute and create something that can be used maybe to help push this forward because I couldn't go to the protests and I really wanted to. And I feel like this has in some way, shape or form, it will help the campaign. And I'm gonna keep doing whatever I can do. But the protests were just the beginning. They were brilliant. And these protests, remember that they're not just coming around because of the European Super League. These are protests that United have done way back to the 90s when Rupert Murdoch tried to buy the club. United have fought against ownership for decades. And now, more than ever, there seems to be momentum. But the protests were just the start. What comes next? That's what this video is all about. I want to explain to you what United fans are doing, what United fans have got planned, and what's coming next. Make sure you subscribe uh, to United People's TV if you want to keep up to date on all of this, uh, and hopefully you enjoy this sort of content. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing something that's more meaningful because I want change at my club, and it has to it has to come with the Glazers. But what is next now? I personally suspended my season ticket. I couldn't exactly be a leading voice in all of this conversation about the Glazers and then renew my season ticket. I wanted to, but I didn't. I wanted to, obviously, I wanted to apply for away games. I don't really care that much about going to Old Trafford. I'll be honest anymore. It's lost its shine and until it gets money put back into it, I don't know. But I had to cancel it and I did. I delayed it for a year. That deadline has now passed. You can do obviously everything in terms of don't buy merchandise for the club. And it seems like this is going to be, this is what's going to lead the conversation going forward now. Because as much as we can shout and get into Old Trafford and protest and get our voices heard around the world, a physical protest isn't going to be enough to force change at Manchester United because the Glazers are just driven by money. And that is why the Not A Penny More campaign that's starting now and it's getting traction, as you can see here with the Athletic reporting on it, with the Times reporting on it, big establishment, big established newspapers reporting on this. And this is where hopefully United fans can make a change. Now, boycotting sponsors is something that United fans have talked about for a long time, but no real movement has happened too much because it's very hard to mobilize enough people at once online to actually make a difference. But take TeamViewer, for example, just been announced as United's new shirt sponsor, I think from next season onwards. Yesterday, United fans had a little bit of fun over on the Trustpilot page. Credit to everyone who did that. 
It was pretty damn funny. Dropped their rating to about 1, 1 1.5. And there were a few, just a couple of reviews that were a bit negative. Now, what's happened is I think Trustpilot are now flagging any review that's gone on there. But make no mistake, that would have forced a conversation inside TeamViewer. It wouldn't just be about the, the, the younger interns who were just doing social media. It, it would have had an impact. It would have gone up the chain of command. And they would have had a conversation about that. And that is what this Not A Penny More campaign is pushing towards. And I think it's absolutely right because the noise is going to be recognised. The fact that it's being picked up by The Athletic, by Adam Crafton, Laurie Whitwell, picked up by The Times, picked up by The Telegraph. The numbers are where we can hurt the Glazers the most because... They've been able to, as I said, for years and years and years, just sit over in Florida and ignore all the any any noise that's going on because ultimately the top line is still good. But that hasn't that's changing now. United is revenue our, our revenue has sort of stagnated over the last four years. Ed Woodward has now lost his job because of that stagnation, because of the European Super, because of everything, because he's crap. But ultimately the protests on their own won't be enough to force the change that we want. And that's why this, this fight that's going on is a fight that's on multiple fronts. On Sunday, it was on multiple fronts, at the Lowry, at Old Trafford. And now we have to get these protests in online. We've obviously got Adidas, Curler, Team Viewer. I mean, I don't even know how many United sponsors there are. But make sure you look at the campaign. Not Hashtag not a penny more. The reason it hasn't worked before, as I said, is because it's been very hard to mobilise thousands and thousands of United fans to do this at once but the momentum behind this whole glazes out campaign feels bigger and stronger than before and that's because it's coming from a national sentiment it's not just united fans being pissed off at our owners it's arsenal and chelsea and spurs and liverpool and united all together and that's why this momentum cannot be lost because it's not i'd be very surprised if we can get it anywhere near as strong as this again and all at the same time so that's why boycotting sponsors can make a difference because if you can make these sponsors worry about how their brand is going to look whilst it's being associated with Manchester United and the tarnish that comes with it that's when you can force conversations which could lead to change I'm not saying you can directly lead to change by what you're doing but you can force these companies to at least consider it's really a right idea to sponsor Man United at the moment and have our brand attached to it, given there's protests going on. There's angry, angry, thousands of angry United fans all around the world tarnishing our name on social media. Do we really want to be associated with that? That's the conversation that we want to force by talking about these boycotts. But it's not just about the boycotts. It's not just about the protests that happen. It's about the protests that will happen and there will be more protests. I think I'm hearing maybe before the Aston Villa game and certainly if, well, actually not if, but when that Liverpool game gets rescheduled, you can bet your bottom dollar that there's going to be a part two. Now, obviously, Manchester, Great Manchester Police and Manchester United are going to have far more security, so they're going to stop it getting anywhere near the level that it was before, but it doesn't mean that United fans will not make as much noise as possible. And the, the whole, the unification that I'm seeing among United fans is unparalleled. Um, I think there was always a, a there was always a disconnect between, I suppose, people like me, people coming up in the new age of media that has a, a voice online, compared to the United fan who's been there through the eighties and through the nineties and for 30, 40 years has followed United home and away around Europe. You know, I go around Europe. I, I, there is nothing I love more as a United fan than getting. On the Eurostar at 7am with a bag full of beer, with a ton of mates, going to watch United or going to the airport, early doors. It, for me, it's what I enjoy most as a United fan. But there's always been a, a, a disconnect between different types of fans. And what we're seeing at the moment now is all of these fans uniting together under this one banner. And that's what's causing this momentum to be different. It's not just one segment of United fans. It's everyone together and everyone does their part. Like the supporters, the supporters clubs that organised those marches against at the Lowry, they did something that people online can't do. But at the same time, everybody who's got a voice online, they can do something that those lads can't do. 
And if you combine it all together and you piece it all together and it's all pointing in the same direction, that's when it can have a real, real difference and make a real, real difference, sorry, and hopefully for some sort of change. But this is nothing new, is it? The, these protests that we're doing, it's not the first one we've had. It won't be the last one we've had unless they go and then we're going to have a celebration and get the jelly and ice cream out, that's for sure. Ashley Young, look, he gets it. Listen to what Ashley Young has said when he was interviewed and asked about the Glazers. I think a lot was said about it was because of the the Super League that was that was coming. But to be honest, I don't. I, I know United fans. That's that's not just what it was. That's it, this is going back years and years um, with with the owners, um, and they want to make their point. Um, Obviously, you don't want to see a protest getting violent. Um, you just want to see it that it's, it's a protest that they're aware that they understand the anger that the fans have got. You know, maybe for the owners, they'll they'll see what the fans are saying. They'll see the anger. Uh, they'll see how upset they are. Um, like I say, the United fans have been asking for change for a long while. Um, so, you know, maybe we'll see changes. Maybe we won't. But fair play to Ash. I think what he said there is spot on and thank you for saying it. The more people that say it, the better. This is nothing new. This is not just about the European Super League. This is a far bigger and deeper story. And boycotting sponsors, that right now is where the momentum is going to be behind, as well as the, the protests that are going to come on top of it. Now, I'm going to follow everything that happens. Hopefully there's going to be more to do with legislation and bigger governmental changes and force changes on football clubs. That's going to be another segment of all of this. But everything that you're doing, everything that you've done so far, it's amazing. Keep doing it. Keep banging the drum. Keep tweeting glazers out. Keep doing whatever you can to make a difference. And if we can all do it at the same time and we keep going, maybe we can force these conversations to happen and force change to be a possibility, whereas previously it was impossible. But people would have told us that breaking into Old Trafford and getting Man United against Liverpool was impossible. No, it wasn't impossible. United fans have proved that, that change can happen. Organised change can happen. So fingers crossed we can keep this momentum going. But keep doing what you're doing. As I said, make sure you subscribe to United People TV if you want more videos like this. But keep shouting, people, because we're being heard. And now it's out in Florida. And even slimy Avram Glazer can't ignore that now.